Good morning, Diamond Royals. I'm back with another powerful word filled with the precious Holy Spirit. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like the content I'm putting out on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe and share with someone you know that may need to hear this prophetic message. So the word I got on today, and this has been on my spirit for the last, I say 24 hours, a whole day. You are a good and loving person very good and loving and people would purposely do things to either use you see what they can get out of you treat you like you don't understand things and like you're not wise or intelligent because you're a good person or because you're filled with the holy spirit should i say not just being a good person but you you walk in the fruits of the spirit you're trying to you read your bible you try to obey god you try to live a righteous, holy life. You, you stay away from ignorance and foolishness. And people really would, it's certain people that would take advantage of that. So you must be aware. God's children need to be aware. If you feel with his Holy Spirit, we live in so much of a dark world where people think being evil is the, the way to be. Oh, if I be evil, I can get ahead. That's how I can make money. That's how I can do this, this, and that if I just be evil. You got so many people that think like that. The wicked shall not have any rest, but they are wicked. You got a lot of wicked people in the world that feel like being wicked is the righteous way. And when you're trying to be righteous and holy, they either want to use that against you, play psychological mind games with you like you don't know who you are spiritually. Like you don't have any type of spiritual authority when the Bible says God's children have spiritual authority, even against demons and scorpions and lions. You have spiritual authority, but people in this world that's operating off their flesh or want to use and do things that they want done, they tend to feel like, oh, I'm better than you. You know, I can treat you any type of way because you're a good person because you feel with the Holy Spirit. So I can do what I want to you. That's not true. That's not true. And you got even your blood relatives that would think like this. You know, they think because they, they can talk to you and treat you a certain way that it makes it okay. Well, you just a cousin. You're just a daughter. You're just my niece. It, it doesn't matter. They If they don't have respect for you as a person, then first you tell them the problem. And if they still act like they can treat you any type of way because they feel like you a good person and they can do this and that and say what they want to you, even if it's the wrong way. No, we're, we, we cut that off. We cut that off this season. The Holy Spirit is calling his children to walk in authority, in obedience. Walk in authority in your power. Don't let people make it seem like, oh, you a pushover because you a good person. No, no. I will, I, I will, I, I can, I can get wild with you too. But we choose not to operate like that because the Holy Spirit got us working from a spiritual perspective and not the fleshly urges of the flesh the the you know the flesh the flesh want the flesh wants to do one thing and then your spirit wants to do something else and a lot of people operate off their flesh so when they come against a light being like you they feel like oh well i can you must you're not smart they think they tend to think because they operate off their flesh that you don't have certain spiritual gifts where you can see through the foolishness should i say they don't think you can see through it. So they tend to do things to downplay your intelligence, treat you like you don't understand and can't comprehend what they're doing, use you up, abuse you, and then act like they have authority over you. No, you have authority because you have the Holy Spirit. You have authority over people that operate off their flesh or operate with the kingdom of darkness. And when I was thinking about this yesterday, when I had a certain, you know, relative call me, I thought about it yesterday on why people do this. You know, it took me a whole day to think about why people would call you just to disturb your spirit. It's a, it's, it's not them. They, 
some people really do underestimate you and who you are in God. They don't know the spiritual warfare you go through. They don't know that you can see through things. They don't know you have spiritual discernment because the Holy Spirit gave that to you where you can discern between different spirits and people that use you. So while I was communing with the Holy Spirit yesterday about the matter regarding how the world is and why people are so wicked and the Holy Spirit basically let me know sometimes even as his children, we got to put our foot down. He said, even I, even Jesus or Yeshua or Yahawashai, some people say Yahawashai for his name. Even he flipped over tables when the wicked was coming against him in the wrong way. So that is correct. We can't always be this passive type people. I guess the world expects because you got the Holy Spirit in you that you're going to be passive and you're going to say yes and be easy going. But the Holy Spirit put on my heart, even Yeshua flipped over tables when they were selling stuff in his father's temple, the wicked, selling it for money and doing wicked things before his sight. And he knew they were doing wrong in the temple. So he started flipping over tables. So I think the world got it misconstrued that, oh, because you got God and because you're a good person and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, we can do what we want and you just be quiet. That's not true. That's not true. The wicked must be dealt with. And sometimes it would take a righteous person to deal with the wicked. The righteous person like you that's filled with the Holy Spirit. Light fights against darkness every day. Wicked against righteous every day. We see this all throughout the Bible. Wicked versus the righteous. But just because you're righteous to God, that don't mean you, you don't have emotions or feelings and like, you can't see the wicked for what they're doing. You can see very clearly what they're doing. But I guess they think because you're a good person and because you're godlike, then you must be quiet and meek and, and, and be shielded up in a corner somewhere. No, I will go off on you. <laughs> I will go off on you righteously when I know you know what you're doing wrong to me or to other people. And I will give you the word. And if you continue with your foolishness, I will be like Jesus did or Yeshua Hamashiach and flip over them tables for you to understand. <laughs> and I mean that so seriously, y'all, about this. Sometimes you got to lose your mind with the wicked because they're wicked. Wicked don't understand how to be righteous. These people operating with demon spirits in them. They doing different things. This is why you got you to gotta be aware of of spiritual matters we battle not against flesh and blood but spiritual wickedness in high places okay but these people once they start becoming a portal for demons to enter their spirit because they're not righteous and then they coming at you and then these spirits are controlling them what they say what they do how they behave and they think a holy spirit filled with person like you not supposed to see and deal with that when God said you have authority to cast out demons of these people, these people are wicked though. The wicked going to be wicked. You got murder spirits. You got people that kill and go home at night and not think nothing of it. There's somebody that murders somebody and don't even ain't even spending time in jail for it. But they know they did it. But they serve the kingdom of darkness. They serve Satan. They think it's okay to be like that. But God said in his scripture that the wicked shall not have rest. There's a lot of wicked people out here. That's why you got to flip over them tables and let them know you being filled with the Holy Spirit is not to be played with. You ain't always got to respond to everything because everything don't deserve a response. But when they purposely keep coming at you, put your foot down. Lay that smack. Let them know you ain't the one to be playing with. And I had to be like that one yesterday when it came to somebody calling. Look, I'm not finna keep arguing with you. You're not finna keep calling my phone. You're not finna keep disrespecting me. And I literally snapped and went off. And that's when the Holy Spirit put on my spirit. Even Yeshua flipped over tables when you know people are doing wrong.
and you're trying to do righteous and you told them stop doing that and they continue to do it so we have that type of authority I don't know what you're battling if you feel like oh I got the Holy Spirit but we're supposed to be quiet because the Christian church will have you believing we're supposed to be quiet we ain't supposed to do no 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 we're supposed to be louder the righteous is as bold as a lion that's scripture you're supposed to be bold in your faith that means when the wicked is coming at you foul, you're supposed to correct them with godly love. And if they still don't get it, hey, that's warfare going on. That's warfare. Devil, the devil and demons, they don't play fair. They don't play fair. They do not play fair. And if you don't have your guard up and you ain't got a certain type of spiritual protection around you or if you live in certain environments let's say for example hood areas where you got a lot of high crime and people rob steal kill people and it's a lot of toxic energy sometimes the holy spirit will let you know that ain't the environment for you because there's demons infiltrating in that particular area and y'all have to be aware of the spiritual wickedness in high places we're fighting principalities as god's children and there's some certain environments and certain people that's just not fit for you and your Holy Spirit. So God will either direct you to leave or he will put on your spirit not to go to that area or to get away from certain people or certain environments. And if you don't heed to the Holy Spirit's warning, if you don't heed, it can either cost you your life, cost you your peace of mind or, or something else. And I have to be very specific when I say it could cost you your life because it can. If God is telling certain, certain or something happens, say if there's mass shootings in certain area, or let's say if you were a particular target to be shot at and you escape that, that target of the bullet coming your way because the devil, he will send arrows and bullets out your way and he will use people to get to do what he wants to do to you if you're not spiritually protected and covered this is why we must pray for spiritual protection in the holy spirit so we are able to fight against the demons that could possibly come against us but if a person is getting a car shot at and that arrow that's a warning from god and the kingdom of darkness that you are a target and you must leave i don't care if you have to leave the town if you're around people that don't like you and there's a lot of bullying going on and everybody want to fight and be silly with you all day, you got to move. These people are operating with demonic spirits, demons, and they will do anything that demon tells them to do. And some of them know they got demons in them and some of them are unaware because they're wicked. They're not filled with the Holy Spirit. And if they're not filled with the Holy Spirit, they might be filled with a demon. But you got to know by your spiritual authority what you supposed to deal with and what you supposed to move away from and not deal with because God gave you authority to cast out these demons of people that possibly could be coming against you filled with the Holy Spirit you have spiritual authority I don't know who this word is for but you have spiritual authority don't let the devil lie to you. Don't let the world lie to you that because you got the Holy Spirit that, oh, you will, you will whim or you ain't got no type of spiritual authority against demons. You have spiritual authority. And you got to know when the demons are waging war, spiritual warfare against you. So you know how to counteract spiritually through prayer and fight with your spiritual weapons. And then when the Holy Spirit directs you to move out of certain areas, you got to be eager to move. You got to move with the Holy Spirit, y'all. You got to move with the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit tells you something, you have to be eager to get it done or move when he tells you to move. He could be protecting your life from something. You might have an enemy that want to take you out. And if you're not moving, when you know you got this going on, you got to move and let God deal with that enemy. Sometimes you got to move out the way and let God fight the battle at certain times. But sometimes God give you the weapons to fight the battle. Like he did David with Goliath. God didn't come down out of heaven when, when Goliath was being a terror to the children of Israel. That giant back in the days, that Nephilim. God didn't come down out of heaven and protect the Israelites. He told them to fight. 
And who he sent? Who was his royal one? David was the fighter to fight. David took three pebbles with a slingshot and slew Goliath by the power of the Holy Spirit. Did, he, did David sit in the corner as a wimp and go, oh, this I see this evil, wicked being in front of me, but I'm going to sit quiet and not do nothing. No, David said, David said these very words that were magnificent. <coughs> sorry, y'all. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I had that. I had that. Uh tingling feeling in my throat and it caused me to cough so I do apologize I apologize but David David said when when Goliath came against David because you got to understand when you got the Holy Spirit you're going to have people filled with demons and it's already going to be a clash right there that's the spiritual warfare we go through every day so you got to be aware of the spirit world but the spirit world not everybody's filled with the holy spirit some people are filled with demons and devils and they're going to come against you being a light filled with the holy spirit but when goliath came to david he he laughed and mocked david and said ha 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 i'm going to feed you i'm going to feed you and, and spread your 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 flesh and, and and feed you to the carcass and i'm gonna eat you he said something like that one like i can't quote the scripture right now but that he was mocking david because he was overly wicked and evil when he was a giant and he's been getting away with his wickedness for so long and sometimes the holy spirit will allow an evil wicked person to get away with their wickedness for so long before he rang down that judgment on them so he will use a person like david a warrior that's already been filled with the holy spirit for a long time and that's used to fighting animals up in the field when he was in the backyard. And that's why God anointed David. And he put on David's heart, you go kill Goliath and chop off his head. And so David asked the general, what's the reward to kill this wicked person, this wicked Goliath, this Nephilim named Goliath? Because he was overly wicked. He was the seed of the serpent, seed of Satan. And they said, if you do that, you will be, I think they got some type of war for that. So David went out there. Goliath came, woo, 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 talking the stuff he was talking. I'm going to feed your body to the yeah, end, being overly evil. And David said, you come in the name of the wicked one, but I come in the name of the almighty. Yes, Yeshua, I mean, Yahweh, Ye the God of Israel. I came, I came in his name. So David took the three pebbles and slew him immediately because the power wasn't in the slingshot. It was the Holy Spirit operating through him to kill Goliath because the Holy Spirit don't like wickedness and Goliath wasn't going to repent. He was the seed of Satan, literally. He was a Nephilim. That means the fallen angels came and impregnated the women and created these giant beings in the land. So they were overly wicked and they didn't know how to do righteous because their father was Satan. That's what the Nephilim, that's who their father was before the, after that, that was even after the flood happened with Noah, there was still giants going on and, and in the land, but they were overly wicked and the Holy Spirit will use a person to go and, and put the wicked in a place, a righteous Holy Spirit anointed person. So it's not a coincidence that people think, oh, because you're filled with the Holy Spirit that you're nobody because they're not used to seeing people like you. They think because you're holy and righteous that you're going to put up with, especially the times we live in today, the times of revelation. The wicked are overly wicked. They're wicked because they feel like the righteous ain't not going to do nothing. You got to be on guard at all times against the devil and the plots of the enemy and the people he used you got to be on guard literally with the holy spirit you got to know when the enemy is coming at you you got to know when people are not coming with the righteous spirit against you you got to deal with them demons and i'm telling y'all i dealt with the demon yesterday when it came to one of my blood relatives calling me i dealt with that demon and i hung up and said have a good day don't come at me no more because if you do I, I'm liable to flip over some tables and act. I act them. I'm going to go there with you because you're irritating me and you're doing it on purpose. 
I made a point when I'm saying that, bringing up the example that I gave for my personal life, is that people think because you're a good person and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, they can walk all over you. That's not true. We the worst ones to play with because we know the Holy Spirit got us. God already delivered us from our sins and wickedness. We repented of our sins, but that don't mean we won't go back into that flesh to get people. But we choose not to do that because we have the Holy Spirit. But at the same time, we will fight. We're not pushovers. Holy Spirit filled people are not pushovers. You are not a pushover filled with God's Holy Spirit. We just don't operate like how the wicked do. Scheme, rob, steal, mock, be arrogant. That's not what we do. People filled with the Holy Spirit, we have peace, we have joy, we have kindness. But we some fighters too. <laughs> That's what we supposed to do. We representing the kingdom of heaven. Why the wicked is representing the kingdom of darkness. So we got to be aware of these spirits, these different spirits that could possibly be using people to come against us filled with the Holy Spirit. And we got to have authority to put them in a place by the power of the Holy Spirit. And no, you are not wrong for putting them in a place and telling them about themselves because we represent the Holy Spirit. And we don't like wickedness because the Holy Spirit don't like wickedness. The Holy Spirit is trying to get the wicked to repent of their sins. And a lot of them are just not doing that. They're not repenting of their sins. So you can't play with the wicked. You can't think this is a joke. They're wicked. They're wicked. You can pray for their deliverance and you can tell them about the word of God. But if they still mock, you have to give them over to God for real. But when they come in at you the wrong way, you got to know the battle you fighting against. And sometimes the Holy Spirit will tell you to leave certain environments just to get away from the wicked before he judges them, rain down his judgment on them and deal with the wicked. But you as the anointed one of Yah, you got to know who you are in God. You got to know who you are in Yahweh. So you can ask him for spiritual protection against the wicked while before they come against you, hide you so the demons won't find you. And the only way to be hidden is if you honoring God, his law, statutes, and commandments, and you, you're tending to the things of, the, of God, his Holy Spirit, and in righteousness. You're tending to heavenly things so demons can't find you. The wicked will be dealt with, though. The wicked will be dealt with. There is no rest for the wicked. So I don't care what wicked person think they can get away with their wickedness. God saw what they did and they must pay. It could take 10, 15, 20 years. The wicked must pay for what they have done if they don't repent. They must repent of their sins. And if they don't, they're going to face his judgment and get cast down by the power of the Holy Spirit. So you don't have to fear anything. The Holy Spirit is saying he's with you, his children. He's with you. So you ain't got to fear <laughs> the wicked and what they do. The Holy Spirit is aware of what the wicked does. He's aware. And because he's aware, he's letting you know that they're going to have their end as well. To their wickedness. So you continue to seek and go after righteousness. Continue. And let God deal with the wicked. Stay in prayer. Y'all stay prayed up. We're in some last and evil days. But seek ye the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. And the Holy Spirit will be well with you on your journey. And that's the prophetic word I have for a royal one on today. Until next time. Bye-bye.